we had all that fresh snow that night. We had 10 inches of beautiful fresh powder, which is perfect for snowmobiling. 41-year-old State Police Trooper Michael Mahalik was riding his snowmobile on Lake Leelanau Tuesday evening when in a matter of seconds, things went terribly wrong. I could feel the snowmobile losing traction and uh, just starting to sink. And then once, you know, within a second, you know, that, that I just, it was over, you know, just submerged and uh, it happened, it happened fast. It was seemed like slow motion, but um, I mean, I can still picture it. Mahalik was riding with his close friend, 55-year-old Bruce Mercer, who saw Mahalik fall through this patch of ice and instinctively powered through the nearly 50 yards of thin ice up to shore. He ran to the side door of this house to get help, where 17-year-old Kevin Fehrenbach sat watching television. And all of a sudden he heard him banging on the door, and he saw this strange man in a panic, and he uh, said, uh, I'm on with 911. Give the address Man in the Lake. Bruce and Susan kept yelling to Mike from shore as they stood helpless, waiting for authorities to arrive. I was so focused on breathing. All I wanted to take is another breath. And my legs and arms and whatever, I could have cared less. All that mattered was to be able to take another breath. Mike kept calm, something he says he was trained to do, and that it is more than likely what kept him alive. Nearly 30 minutes passed before help arrived and crews flooded into Susan's backyard. Mike says he's not sure he could have survived any longer. Um, once I came to, re to the realization that I, I wasn't going to be able to get up on the ice and that I needed to conserve my energy, you know, it, it was, uh, wasn't so much minutes as it was breath. These days, Mike's thankful. Thankful he is still around to be with his family and has the ability to keep living. I'm not going to take risks like I, like I did, you know. I'm not going to say that, you know, it's, it's not safe to do because I, you know, I thought it was safe. And I'm just so thankful that it turned out the way it did. In Leelanau County, Megan Morelli, 7 and 4 News.